Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be telling you about my build end-to-end -end Azure Data Engineering project. So this is my website. Here you can see one of the project is build end-to-end -end Azure Data Engineering project. Here I have used multiple technologies like Key Vault, Azure DevOps, Databricks, SQL Server, Logic Apps and so on. So this project is for is for someone who is preparing for Azure Data Engineering role and whose basics are clear. If you are someone, you know, if you know SQL, Python, Databricks, Azure basics, if you know, and you do not know how a real time data engineering project looks, right, then you can go for this project. Now, uh, now, this course, you know, the highlight is this learn how to build and deploy end to end data engineering project on Azure, gain hands on experience in Azure using a service such as Data Factory, Databricks, and Apps Analytics, and so on. And what you will learn here explore Azure data platform services, design and develop on an Azure data pipeline, transform data using Azure Databricks, best practices for data engineering, and other stuff. Cool. Now this is the course curriculum. You can see we have 16 modules, 56 sessions and 14 hours of content. Cool. So first video is introduction and architecture. So you can go and watch it. Right. It is, it is free. And then we have, you know, let's understand Azure resources, how to create them. So if I click over here, then you can see we have these many videos in it. Cool. Then we have data preparation, uploading into the respective sources. So all these my data and then we have ingest data from multiple sources. So these are the videos. Okay, then cleaning the process, adding a data quality checks in it, then create fact and dimensions, then publish the data into SQL database using ADF. Set up complete ADF pipeline source to publish. So whenever we are creating a project, right? So we ideally create one one master pipeline in it right from end to end so that's what you know i i have tried to show you over here and then we have sent data files to end users using logic app so i have used here logic app also then we have an automation script using automation account we have then introduced data quality check layer between mart and publish layer so we have this video in it then we have ci cd deployments using azure devops and github actions so i have used here both things github actions as well as in azure devops so in azure devops we have a you know a template kind of thing where we just need to you know put the information and in github action i tried to write a script and then handle corner cases in adf then we have power bi also so i have tried to show you key how power bi i mean how we can create a power bi on top of our published data right and this these all the repositories and other files now this is a video if you i mean if you wanna you know watch this video you can watch this video to understand in deep and this is a reviews and testimonial then you can see i i received 4.7 rating out of 11 reviews so that is pretty cool now let's talk about the architecture in brief so we have these sources we have adls csv files we have sql tables we have api so we will you know we will we will ingest this data using adf into our data lake and then we have pdf files also which is present in the blob storage so we will we will try to uh, you know read the pdf file using databricks and put it into our data lake cool then on top of this data lake, on top of our raw data lake, we will uh, we will cleanse the data and we will create our mart. Mart means we write we write our uh, business logics. Okay, we create dimension, fact tables, and other stuff. Then we will put this data into our data lake. That is a cleansed or we can say raw silver silver container. And then the entire data, you know the 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 clean data or we can say the published data or final data will be published into our published container that is our silver layer sorry that is our gold layer right and we can also put the data into azure sql or synapse it totally depends on the company to company how they follow cool and then then what what we did we have one excel file which is present in blob storage there we have some set of you know there we have some set of uh, Mm, uh, names and email id where we need to send the data so we will send that send the final data to to the end users which is available over here via logic app okay and then apart from this i have also shown you how cicd works you know how how power bi works and then how we can uh, use a powershell script to automate some processes cool so this is a very good project i would say do not skip this i will be giving a promo code for for the next 
20 students okay i will be giving 10 to 20 percent discount and this is not kind of you know udemy course to be honest this is something different than you know me course but the thing is if you already know database as your then you should practice on it and definitely you can you know you can explain this project in your interview right and if you are working in any any company right there also you can implement these kind of checks in your project cool so i hope that you have understood this and you will take the course i will be giving a link in the des description box as well as the promo code also so if you have liked this you know project if you have already taken this project please comment here right in this video please comment it so that other people will also understand that you know, this course is useful for them thank you bye bye